fellow entrepreneurs, how to turn the knowledge in your head into the green stuff in your piggy banks. This video is going to be a brand new series or a kicking off a brand new series here over on the YouTubes where I highlight anywhere from three to five creators on how they're turning their experience, the knowledge in their head, problems and or offering solutions and turning it into a side hustle or a full-time online business. Hey folks, my name is Adam Dukes and I help dads escape employment by building a wildly profitable online business so that they can enjoy more dad time. Now, I take daily walks, anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Yes, even in Las Vegas, even in July, when it's 100 plus degrees outside, I'm still taking my daily walk and I do it to think. It's not for the physical benefits, it's purely for the mental benefits. But as I walk, I listen to podcasts. And when I'm walking, I take notes. And I use an app actually called Workflowy. You can check it out down below at the link below. It's 100% free. Without a doubt, it's the number one tool that I use in my business and also my personal life. I use my, I do it all my grocery shopping my grocery list is on there, uh, notes from books, and then just added ideas for YouTube videos, TikTok videos, emails, blog posts, social media posts. I jot it all down in Workflowy, so check it out. It's a game changer. So anyways, I jot down these notes in Workflowy, and I listen to a lot of these marketing podcasts, and a lot of them will highlight different creators on how they're earning money. It'll talk about their business, and I like taking notes with the unique ones, not the um, how to make money online type of those people, but unique people, everyday people. They're not no more special than you and I and how they're bootstrapping uh, online businesses, turning, like I said, their knowledge, their experiences into some money. So this is going to be a new series. Like I said, I'll probably do this once or twice a month, highlighting three to five creators. So let's dive right into this brand new training series. So how to turn your knowledge into the green stuff in your piggy bank. First of all, how to launch a business. I'm not gonna go deep into this, but this is just to give you some ideas. And you'll notice in these three case studies that I'm about to reveal that they followed, or they kind of use these questions as well, especially this top one. What is a problem you've solved for yourself? So this is a great place to start. Uh, a lot of people over, uh, Overanalyze, over yeah, overanalyze is the word I'm looking for when starting an online business on what to do, on an idea to come up with. And one of the best ones is what is a problem that you've solved for yourself? As simple as that, it could be a small problem, it could be a huge, large problem, it's completely up to you. But that's a great one to start. Uh, another idea is what is an obstacle you've overcome? What is a challenge that you've conquered? All very similar to a problem that you've solved. Have you mastered a skill? And you don't, when I say mastered a skill, I'm not meaning you're the top 1% of that skill. How you could be the top 50%. You could be the top 20% in that skill. I talk about it all the time. Imposter syndrome, it holds so many people back. And I read a quote by Sean D'Souza last summer, I believe it was. And he said, just be a third grader teaching a second grader, meaning you just have to be one step ahead of the person you're teaching. So when I say mastered, again, don't think you have to be the top 1%. Hell, you could be in the top 90% as long as you're better or uh, more advanced or you know more than the person that you're teaching. Again, you just have to be one step ahead Ahead. What do your family and friends ask you for help with? This is another great one. And then what do you enjoy talking about? So an exercise that I like talk, giving people is if I would hand you a microphone right now and say, you got to go out on stage for 60 minutes. There's 37 people out in the audience. You have 60 seconds from the time I give you the microphone to the time you get on stage and start talking. So you don't have any time to prep. You don't have any slides to read off of any notes or anything, but you got 60 minutes. What are you going to tell those people for 60 minutes? What would you enjoy talking about? What would you uh, feel comfortable in talking about? What would you feel competent in talking about and or teaching? That's a really good exercise that's helped a lot of people um, over the years. I've used it so many times. I can't remember where I came up with it, uh, but it's a really good exercise. So maybe think about that. Maybe just sit down at the kitchen table tomorrow morning and journal it. You write down with a pen and paper and jot down what you would talk about for 60 minutes with no notes, no slides, no presentation. And you got 37 people in the audience or 100 people in the audience or two people in the audience. The audience size doesn't matter. So let's dive right into number one is this young man is earning $4,000 a month teaching Google Sheets, teaching people how to use Google Sheets a software that I use on a daily basis. His name is Andrew Campy, I think. He launched it in 2020. I believe it was right before or right after the pandemic. It was either early uh, 2020 or sometime around spring. Regardless, it's a little over a year old. He's earning $4,000 a month. This is like his side business. He's got a couple of other businesses. And how it came about is he used Google Sheets in another company that he owned. And the co-founder commented, man, your Google Sheets look amazing, dude. Like, how do you do this? You know, I've never seen Google Sheets look like this. And a light bulb went off in his head and was like, huh, 
I could teach this to other people. I could share this with other people. I could earn money from this by teaching other people. So he launched it on a Friday with a landing page, four free videos and four paid videos. He woke up Monday morning and he had his first customer and that's how it started, you know? And then it just grew from there. I can't remember how many videos he has now, but it's a lot more than four. But the point being is he took fast and perfect action. He just launched the damn thing over the weekend. He said he went on, went on about living his life and then Monday morning he woke up and he had a sale and it validated his idea. And now, like I said, he's earning $4,000 a month. Uh, right now, he used to sell individual courses from what I gathered doing some research. And now it's just a membership. It's just a monthly membership, just like Netflix or Hulu or ESPN Plus or any of those monthly uh, apps that we pay for. He charges his customers $19 a month <clears throat> and he's earning $4,000 each and every month. So what is that? 200 customers, 200 paying members each and every month. His URL is bettersheets.co if you want to check it out. He's got a real clean looking sales page. I really, really like it. Very, very simple. Not a ton of copy. I really like how he's doing it. I like that layout, clean and simple. And it's obviously working for him. $4,000 a month. It's a little side hustle teaching people how to use Google Sheets. So we're going to stick with the whole Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. I got three examples of gentlemen that are doing it. So I figured I'll just share all about my Microsoft Excel. So this gentleman, Samit Banzal, I believe he's from India. And he started, he was using Excel at an old job and he was really, really good at it. He was building out spreadsheets and numbers and components. I'm a big spreadsheet fan myself. And so he started a blog in 2013, just teaching what he was doing at work. You know, people were commenting, people were coming to him, asking him for help. Like we just talked about a couple of minutes ago, asking him for help. So he decided to start a blog in 2013. He launched a course for $97 in 2013. 2014. He's got a YouTube channel now of 166,000 subscribers. Now don't get overwhelmed by that. He's been doing this a long time. That's seven years he's been doing this. Uh, his URL is trumpexcel.com. So if you want to check him out, uh, his YouTube channel also is trumpexcel as well. But really, really cool how he turned his knowledge, his skill set of Microsoft Excel into a business. Or it, I believe this is a side hustle for him as well. So he shared some advice I found. Uh, he says, my advice to beginners would be to focus on serving your audience. Identify what you do that adds value to their life. Once you figure it out, the money will follow. And this is something that I hammer home all the time on this channel and I've been speaking about it much louder lately. I say, you need to commit to serving, leading, motivating, inspiring, guiding, helping, a specific group of people. That should be your focus for the next two plus years. That's the mindset I want you to have for the next two plus years, not next 30 days, not next six months. I want two plus years. That's the mindset you need to have and commit to that specific group of people. Very much what like Summit is saying is focusing on your audience, serving your audience and the money will follow. And then the next and last one is uh, the best one or the biggest one, I should say. I don't want to say it's necessarily the best one. This guy is from, I believe it's Denmark. His name is Casper Langman. And when he was in college, he found that there was very limited training on Microsoft Excel. So he decided to start learning more about Microsoft Excel and started offering free training, free classes teaching Microsoft Excel. And then all of a sudden he started charging money for it and he built up a following and turned it into a business. And what I found really interesting in the research I did is what tools he uses. He uses, he's earning $35,000 a month. That's over a quarter of a million dollars a year. He's not using fancy tools. He's using Loom, which records your screen. It's completely free. And then he's an Apple user or Mac user, I should say. And he uses iMovie to edit the videos. I'm not sure how much iMovie is. It can't be that too terribly expensive, but he doesn't use all the fancy software. He uses Loom and iMovie. So I thought that was really cool, really neat, really interesting. A guy making $35,000 a month and he's not using any fancy tools any expensive tools and he even said that when he got started he bootstrapped it and he wanted to do it on a budget and even at $35,000 a month he's still uh, on a budget I would say so he has uh, I think it's three courses there's different levels for each course I think there's two to three levels uh, more advanced training but they range anywhere from $228 to $699 and he does a payment plan so it's you pay uh, for 12 months uh, I think he's got a six month plan, a 12 month plan, uh, but that's how he's structured. His URL is spreadsheet.o.com. So if you want to check out his website, you can do that as well. He's got a pretty simple design as well. I really like this piece of advice. I would tell anyone trying to get into the niche to make sure you are passionate about it. Passion shines through in what ultimately convinces people to stick with you. I couldn't agree more with that piece of advice, finding something you're passionate about. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one of it, you don't have to be insanely passionate, but have a strong interest in whatever it is you're doing. And 2021, it makes no sense to build a business around something you don't enjoy. Another are people that do it, but 
it's just, why would you do that? You know, so have an interest or a passion because it's going to help you push through those tough days, those tough weeks and those tough months. I promise you, I guarantee you, there will be tough days, weeks and months. And when you have a passion or a strong interest in something, especially when you have a passion for the market that you're serving, it's easier to push through those tough times. Now, if you're doing something and you're not too passionate about it, like uh, Casper says right here, people are gonna see through it. You know, They can see your passion, they can feel your passion. It comes through your content, whether it's a video, whether it's a TikTok, whether it's a blog post, whether it's an email, a Facebook post, tweet, whatever it is, they're gonna feel that passion. They're gonna see it, they're gonna hear it, whatever it is, it's gonna be written, audio, and or video, they're gonna feel your passion. So that's why I'm big on doing something you have an interest and or a passion in. I couldn't agree more with Casper. So, hey, that wraps up this first video of this series of how to turn the knowledge in your head into the green stuff in your piggy banks. What'd you think of it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to continue doing these series. Like I said, probably one or two videos a month. These stories always inspire me. They motivate me. They show me what's possible. And when I hear about them, I want to share them with you to show you what's possible, to motivate you, to inspire you, to share that you can make money on the internet doing anything you want. On uh, the next video, I'm going to share about a lady who is a farmer in North Dakota and she teaches people how to sell stuffed animals. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe down below. Click the little bell notification because I release two videos each and every week for your veering pleasure. Are you interested in turning the knowledge in your head into the green stuff in your bank account? I released a book recently called Dadpreneur Freedom. This is for dads only, not to say you can't get value out of it if you're not a dad, but it, it is called Dadpreneur Freedom. It's $7. You can check it out at the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash book. What it is, is it is a 48 hour challenge where I challenge you to write and publish your first ebook in 48 hours. And if you write and publish your first ebook in 48 hours, I will become your first customer. Now the ebook is about 20 to 40 pages. We're not writing a 300 page ebook, but if you're interested in uh, Dadpreneur Freedom, again, check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash book. As always, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.